talked on the teleconference, you and Tulane, it's a rock'em, sock'em football when you guys play, uh, just because two teams that like to run the ball and it's yeah. basically uh, who, whose will imposes on the other? And I think we're similar from that standpoint. You know, we're a triple option team. You know, there there used to be a lot of ton of, you know, zone option stuff. They still, you know, run the football, but probably not as much zone option stuff that they do. Like they didn't pass at Georgia Southern, mm -hmm. uh, still heavy running the football. Um, coach Fritz is a good coach, got a good team. Um, and I know they're trying to get bowl eligible and, you know, we're coming to play, you know, so I thought I liked our practice today. Is there, um, I, I, you know, Louisiana at this time of the year can be kind of humid. You never know what kind of weather. I haven't looked at the weather report, but not much you can do. You're going to practice in cold weather, and if it's hot down there on Saturday, it's hot. There's nothing we can do. It's freezing right now, so <laughs> it is what it is. Right. Um, and uh, coming out of uh, Saturday's games, do you have any injuries? I know Sean Williams and Malcolm left the game, but they came back. Um, I feel good. I feel good about where we're at. I mean, the normal, you know, bumps and bruises this late in the season, but going into, you know, with 12th game, I mean, relatively healthy. Mm, Falkman didn't play. Do you feel he might be able to come back this week, or uh, where is he at? Probably not. No. But I'm not sure. No. Yeah, so well, I guess questionable. Walt Little moved into that. I think I saw him right. playing a lot. Walt played a lot, and probably Austin will get some reps too. Right. And it, I think that you used the three-three-five stack again a lot this past weekend, or no? Uh, not as much. Not, not, as, not no, no. Right. And against Tulane, it's totally different because they they would like to run the ball a little bit better. Well, we don't want to tell them what we right, want to do. Right, we got yeah. We'll see. It's a right. You'll you you got to have play good run defense. Let's just leave it at that. They gained over 300 yards rushing, I think, against both South Florida and SMU. I'm, I think. Um, but in two of their recent games, they had big rushing efforts, so they can run the ball when they want to. Yeah, they, I mean they know what they're doing. They're good, like I said, good team, got a good scheme. And the team that can run the football is going to win, and the team that can stop the run is going to win. Mm -hmm. And uh, what Coach Fritz said, you you all have made the plays at the end in both of the last two games with Tulane to get the win. Do you hope to see that resolve again down the street if, it, if it's close? I know you, you don't want a close game, right? Whatever it takes to win. We're trying to get a W. We need, we need another one. How pleased were the way you saw on Saturday? <laughs> Play well. Um, you know, it's the same defense that we saw that we got shut out. Uh, against us. It was the same defensive plan they had. They copied their plan. Mm -hmm. um, just executed, took care of the football first and foremost, and we played two good halves. So mm -hmm. it, was, it, was, um, it was good to see, happy for the guys, especially for the seniors. Uh, I went out on a good note. What, um, it, it, when you get all three elements like that, it's really nice. I mean, he, Zach got his yardage, he got it mm -hmm. dealt to the slots, they got their yardage, fullbacks mm -hmm. were. I mean, that's really, no, it was, when things are clicking on all cylinders, you're getting a little bit everywhere because you're, you know, they try to adjust to this and you go with that. It was, it was a good day. It was a good day. It was a solid day all around. Um, again, all the guys played well. Um, Zach probably had his best game to date, you know, as far as being relaxed, uh, knowing what's going on, seeing things. Uh, he made some good audibles, some good checks. Um, again, it was, it, was, it was a good day. And obviously, you know, with the, with the way the season going, you know, we should have been that way all season long, you know, with the inconsistency. But... You know, I'm going to take a win. Uh, the kids play well, and I'm happy for them, you know, and uh, go take this and run with it. Um, on that note, I, I thought the same thing was about Zach. He looked better to me than he did even last year. He just looked confident, relaxed. Yeah. You used the word relaxed. Yeah. I thought it's the same thing. Do you think maybe that just comes with being a senior and having been there before? And, you know, maybe last year at times he got a little nervous or tight. At I think a lot of things got probably got to play into it, but it was uh, the last home game, you know, wanted to play well. And um, he was just, I mean, he felt good. He felt good. And again, things just opened up for him. Uh, he was able to see things. And again, he saw it against Cincinnati. So again, being able to see it again and knowing what was coming, um, it was good to see. You know, and we didn't spend much time on it during the week. We were working on a whole different defense. So it was good to see our guys come out, see something that we hadn't worked on. Um, remember, remember what our game plan was, what we had corrected against the last time, mm -hmm. what we wanted to do, ran those, those plays and executed. You know, so it was, it was a it was good to see, again, happy for our guys, our seniors, to go out with a W. So how do you bottle that and repeat it for two more games? Guys, you got to keep doing it. You know, um, again, just keep building on it. Uh, we had a good day today out there. There's a lot of energy. The guys are running around. Um, again, we had to finish strong. Obviously, you know, it's not a great year for us, you know, but we can finish this thing, finish this thing up strong and go into the offseason with um, – being happy, you know, and uh, enjoying the rest of the year. Tulane is one team that has defended the option pretty yes. well because Coach Fritz understands the scheme, yes. smart coach, been around. Uh, kind of talk about what they've done against you in the past. Have they tended the last two games when they played you fairly well? Did they do pretty much the same thing defensively? Um, they changed the bonus last year. They, it's it's going to be an eye front, we know that for sure. Um, but, but they may try some. Yeah, they, well, they were more of a bare front um, in 2017. 
2016, mm -hmm. came out last year in the 50D fence, you know, kind of, again, we, we hadn't seen it, but again, we were able to, you know, just find a way to grind it out, um, find some way to move the football. Um, we had a big play from Carmona, um, ran the ball decent, but again, just found a way to, to find a way to get a W. Again, this year, I don't see him doing anything different. That's kind of his philosophy. Um, it's Probably going to have to grind it out. It's going to come down to just we have to block those guys. They're big and physical in front, pretty good on the D-line. It's going to come down to just taking care of the football first and, mo first and foremost. You can just blocking those guys, grinding it out, and just finding a way to get a W. First and foremost, Coach Nehemiah said after the game that you were looking like the old Trey Walker that he saw before the injury. I mean, do you agree with that? I mean, that, the acceleration you showed on that first run, not the touchdown run, the one where you just took off down the middle of the field, I mean, that was something I don't know that we've seen all year. Uh, yeah, it's definitely me getting my confidence back uh, back in myself. Early on in the year, it was a little bit like hesitant on it, like stepping in the ground after an injury, of course. But now I feel like a lot more comfortable. I've taken off the knee brace and feel like I'm ready to go. All right. How much does not having the knee brace make a difference? Uh, personally, it makes a lot of difference. Not like because it's doing anything, but just like as a as a person, as a confidence booster for me to know like, hey, like there's nothing going on anymore. Everything is fine. You're healed. Now I just go play football like, like I know I can. Well, I was just talking to Coach Barry and Dr. Wilkins, and they said the knee brace is an inhibitor. I mean, there's no getting around it. It's a big, bulky object. They said if you slap that on Malcolm, uninjured, he'd be slower. Mm -hmm. um, so ha having it off it, it, combined with your confidence, you, you definitely had to get that speed back, huh? Definitely, yes. <laughs> kind of running with like a little three-pound weight on the leg. But right. other than that, it's fine, though. Like once you get used to it, it's not bad. But obviously, it's just one of those things. It's like it's just a, a factor in, in everything you do. It's just mm -hmm. a little different. So um, it, you still got, I mean, it must be nice to be able to get back to your full speed better late than never. You got mm -hmm. a couple more games to be able to flash that speed. You're going to go probably score another five touchdowns, right? <laughs> yeah, I do whatever that uh, helps the team. So if, if five touchdowns takes it, that's what, it, uh, that's what I do. But uh, definitely I'm glad though to be able to be back where I uh, want to be. So definitely a good thing. And last but not least, can you talk about coming back from an injury of that nature? Because I'm sure when it, it was on a kickoff return, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, they told me it was ACL and he had a little meniscus stuff. But I mean, they're rehab six to nine months and it's a grind. Mm -hmm. uh, just can you talk about what it's like and how you mentally power through that? Uh, definitely it was mentally. I feel like it was more mentally straining than physical because a lot of the physical stuff, once you start doing the rehab and everything, it starts coming back. But just getting your confidence back in it and everything, that's what, that was the biggest test for me personally. And I know a lot of the guys on the team stuck with me and helped me out and got me through it. So that's what helped me out a lot the most. And so with regard to the offense last week, how good does it feel when everything's clicking like that? I mean, that, that looked like the triple option at its very best. It definitely felt good. It was one of those moments like we knew we had it in us, and it was just when it was going to come out. And we had bits and pieces all throughout the year, and that game it finally all clicked together, and we did what we needed to do. Do you think that effort uh, last Saturday will give you guys confidence going into these next two games that you can play similar to that? Definitely does. Definitely does going into the next couple of games because once you see how you can perform like that and you see you play well, it just builds on it and it lets you know personally that you can go, you can get better.